Hi, this is Nick Horrocks. Welcome to Inside Digital Media Final Cut Pro Tutorials. If you're a regular visitor, then welcome back and thanks for coming back. So this is the third part of um, the Color Correction Trilogy um, that we're doing at the moment. Um, in this one, we're going to be looking at matching two shots, these two shots. Um, very different as you can see in fact they were shot on the same day within about 15 minutes of each other I just had different settings on the camera um, obviously you know that that's the wrong setting I mean this one looks quite nice and green sunny day whereas this is very washed out and blue uh, not at all what you'd expect so what we're going to do is make that one similar to that. So first thing we do is change our window layout. Uh, up here you can see a number of uh, layouts. We're going to pick color correction and what that does is give us uh, a third window up here. So we've got our viewer on the top left, we've got our canvas in the center and on the right at the moment we've got the vector scope, uh, histogram, RGB parade and waveform monitor but we won't look at those today maybe we'll look at those another time what we're interested in is this frame viewer here um, and this is where we can compare the shots um, that we're looking at so you'll notice at the bottom there are some drop down menus and you've got a number of choices there um, what we'll look at is current frame and on the left hand side we'll look at the previous edit and there's only one edit in this timeline um, if I do shift Z I can see everything there's only two clips in here and if I move the playhead down here you can start to see the benefits of this window uh, there are uh, some other tools here you can swap the images over which is quite useful both vertically and horizontally depending on the composition of your shot so that's quite useful okay this is the clip we want to work on and this is our sort of master clip if you like um, so first thing we do is select that clip go up to effects video filters color correction and color corrector three-way I guess you could use the color corrector but I prefer this um, go to visual now if you've watched the uh, the uh, two previous parts of this color corrector you'll be familiar with this window um, we're not interested in limit effect tools uh, for this what we are interested in is is what happens here um, down here you've got the auto levels which we've discussed before and here we have the match hue panel where we will select our color to match so what I want to do is take the uh, the most obvious area of the image of both of these images is this grass the main grassy area so what we'll do is we select our pipette and then we go to color we want to to match so we're going to use a sort of mid green there and you'll notice that that color I just selected pops into there and that becomes the match color um, you'll notice the little auto balance color button here on the mids has has highlighted itself so what we need to do is click on there and then with that pipette select an area on the uncorrected footage that we want to adjust so we click there now already it's looking a similar hue I mean it's a it's a darker shot um, I think on this shot you've got the sun shining on the grass whereas in in this shot I think it may, it may have been the sun may have been covered up by a cloud but um, it's looking a bit better now this green little button over here is still selected so what you can do is reselect that and have another go 
uh, and you can keep going um, uh, as long as you want or until you get the, the result you want. So if we just have a, a look at that, that's much better. I mean, it's it's not the same green. We knew it wouldn't be the same green, but it's uh, it's looking better. And obviously, you can then go on adjusting um, what wherever you want. Um, you know, we could make it a little bit lighter, maybe. We could uh, pull up the saturation, perhaps, or even knock it back. But compare it with the original by switching off the color corrector up here. Very different. So there you are. And sometimes you can never com get it completely right. There are, you know, the, sometimes the shots are just so different that um, you're onto a loser. But I think we've done a pretty good job here. Um, that would certainly do for this home movie. So there you are, a very brief look at um, matching two shots. Um, I hope that was useful. Um, thanks very much and see you again soon.